All right, this is uh, one of my first project I've done and posted on YouTube. So we're gonna start by creating a new project. It's gonna be a basic console application, QTM simulation console application. So we're gonna just do classic desktop console application, and we'll just call it bank account. Now I'm using Visual Studio 2015. You guys can use whatever you want. Stop doing that. All right. So first to start is going to create a class. We'll just call it. Uh, And create this constructor. Account. Then we'll create a couple methods within the class. We'll go with uh, public double double uh, deposit. And we'll just return whatever for right now so we don't get that error. Return uh, 2.5 or whatever. Oops. Then we'll do the same thing with a uh, public double withdrawal. And we'll do the same thing with return whatever for now. So don't have that error later. So we got the construction, we got two methods. And all and doubles always have to return a value. We're returning double, so we'll start by creating a public global variable for the class. We'll call it balance. And we will go ahead and initialize it to 500. Right, so, so far we've got a small account class for a bank account simulation and a console application. Right, and now we'll start by creating a We'll go ahead and do another uh, variable type double and we'll call it the new balance. And then we will go ahead to console, right line, and create a string just saying current, current balance is. Into a semicolon. And we can't create, we've got to create an instance of the account class. So we'll go ahead and go account bank equals new. So that calls the constructor. We'll create a string. And we'll call that. Uh, we'll just call it balance. 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 That string. Okay, so so far what we have, we got our account class. Got a balance of type double as a global variable for the account class. We've got a constructor with the balance equal in five hundred dollars. 
and we got two methods of type double, one deposit, and one withdrawal. So let's go ahead and uh, console right line. We'll go ahead and do something like this. Uh, press D for deposit or press W. So that just you know gives you that option to pause the money or withdraw money or not. And we'll go ahead and do balance equals console read line so that we can get the user's input on that. And now we'll create a statement if balance equals, and don't forget the double equal signs. Add balance equals sign, and another statement if balance equals. Yeah, so we got that going for us. Now we'll go back up here and we'll start by doing console right line again. Please select. Now uh, we'll do please enter amount to deposit we'll create a local variable called double of type double as well balance and that will be the new balance variable and we will create one more variable of type double and we'll call that just deposit Oh, now we can come down here and go space here. Do new balance equals balance, which is right here. That's a little variable. Plus the deposit amount. And we're getting the error because it says that it hasn't been assigned to anything yet. So we'll go ahead and do oops, deposit equals double parse console line. So you can get that user input when it asks you, please enter amount to deposit, then it'll ask you to enter the deposit, and then We'll get that. Then we'll come down here and return new balance. And basically, we'll do the same thing over here. Double new balance. And then we'll double withdraw. So right line enter amount to with draw. draw and it'll also be the same thing as the other method will do withdraw equals double parts. Read line and then we'll go ahead and return new balance 
and get. Oh, so I gotta. Minus let's go. Oops. Draw. Let's save the solution. And now we'll go ahead and do new balance. Let's go to our balance. New balance equals bank. Bank withdraw draw and parentheses and a new console right line new balance is We just have to copy and paste that to down here. And then outside the if statement, we'll put console read line so that the system does pause when it comes to an end. Now let's go ahead and uh, run our program. Current balance is 500. Press D for deposit. Don't withdraw. So order for deposit. Please enter amount to deposit. We'll say $400. New balance is blank. Oh, that's because we didn't put the little thing in here. Uh, turn on deposit, 400, new balance is 900, and then terminate the program. Let's do withdraw, turn on withdraw, 300, new balance is 200. So that's it for a basic simulation of the ATM console application or bank account. Very basic. Um, if you want to add some more to it, you can add some more to it. Um, if you have any questions, my email is at the bottom. You can also contact me on my portfolio website. And seeing as though this is my first video created, I'm probably going to do some more in the way of other console applications, Windows applications, or even web applications. So go ahead and uh, email me or contact me if you have any questions and I hope you like the video. Thank you.